Hip hop started from the slums of the Bronx, New York. I fell in love with break beats, the techniques, b-boying, MCing, crushing whoever was in front of you. It was groovy. You knew how it was. It's true. It's hip hop. It's only one source to get it. It's I do it for hip hop podcast. Subscribe, Google Play, iTunes, and DJ Buffy Two One Five SoundCloud. It's all about the hip hop. Keep it hip hop. It's your boy DJ Bugsy, Do For Hip Hop Podcast, Episode 90, Part 4. And I've been trying to get this young lady on my podcast for the longest. I've been mm. studying her rhymes, her pockets, everything in between. It's we'll the one see. and only <laughs> One Chain Gang. It's One Chain Gang. Yeah, the hood princess. Yes. The gorgeous goon. Yes. Top five baddies. Okay. And the hottest. Okay, I know that's, that's right. Whole, that's the whole. That's the whole. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. The mistress. The mistress. That's my new um, alter ego. We'll get into that. Oh yes, we got to get into the yeah. mistress. Oh mm-hmm. my god. So first of all, I want to start off with the battle. Did you get a chance to see some of the clips from the Ashanti and Keisha Cole battle? I did see a little teeny bit. My sister was watching it. So okay. I didn't watch it. Okay, but you seen some I of the clips. I seen a little like of them going tit for tat a bit. Okay, my thought process is this, because everybody basically said that Ashanti won. Now, for me, I'm a big Keisha Cole fan, and mm-hmm. I don't think she won. I don't think Ashanti won. I think that what's happening is, is because she was late, because her face and the different things she was doing made her lose. Mm-hmm. But if you go for song for song, it's no way that Ashanti's fucking with Keisha Cole. Like, singing-wise, everything in between. And then I think by her sitting down played a part. Because I feel like if Keisha Cole was standing and doing her ones and twos, we would have a different conversation. But sitting in that chair, it just... But that's ah. a part of it, though, you know? So you got to... That could be the difference between, <laughs> you know? You, you got to give them that. Right, right. But I agree. Okay, you agree? I agree about Keisha Cole. You like Keisha Cole? Mm-hmm. Like Did she I was get like, you through some tough times? I was, times? like, singing about stuff I had never even experienced. Like, it had actually happened to me behind Keisha Cole. Right. You know, like, I never had my heart broken. I was, like, 10. Was I that young? I was, like, 10. I was, like, no. <laughs> like, I, w- I was not fine enough for this boy. Yeah. I didn't know anything about it. But, yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. A, I'm a Keisha Cole fan. I'm a Shanti fan, too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of both. But I just felt like a Shanti got... It's like her features, like when it comes to her, I feel like the features is what really yeah. do it for her. But she got one classic album. Then after that, it's just like, where is she at with it? Mm-hmm. That's what my, what my whole point is. Right. But with Keisha Cole, she got like two or three joints and you like, damn. Yeah. So. Yeah. Keisha Cole the shit for sure. Yeah. So that's what my thought. <laughs> so, all right. So let's dive into Uptown. You know, because you from that uptown. Yeah, I am. <laughs> they always confusing me. They think I'm a North Philly girl. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, too, until I realized you from uptown. I mean, what um, Meek say, I be anywhere, any block, any hood. Right. I be cool. Not anywhere, but. Yeah. I be cool. I bounce around. But uptown, yeah, that's my set. All right, so talk about Uptown because you know Uptown has a crazy history of MCs like Vodka, Cheek, Raw, mm-hmm. Quilly. So was you kind of like engaging them growing up, seeing them on the DVD? Like what turned you into hip hop? So funny story. Okay. I never wanted to be a rapper when I was a kid. Really? Mm-mm. I used to want to be a singer. You wanted to be, so you can sing? No. That's <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, no, I can't sing, so that's I'm That's the thing. Rap. Like, no, I don't think. Yeah. I'm a really thing. Right. I'm scared. But then uh, what brought me onto hip hop was a friend of mine. You know, we had everybody had that aura, still kind of that era, still kind of going on where everybody think they correct. Right. You know, no offense, but it's just not for everyone. Absolutely. But you know, in Philly, in uptown, and you know, yeah. whatever community you're in, everybody was trying to rap at a point in time. Okay. One of my friends was trying to rap, mm-hmm. and I was always in the studio with him. So right. something just made me write a song. Like I could do this. I used to write little songs when I thought I wanted to be a singer. Right. So I'm like, I could write a rap, and it was, like, good. And my sisters and my friends and them, they was like, oh, yeah, it's hot. And I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. And then they was, like, telling other people. Right. And then they were like, yeah, rap for, rap for this person and rap for that person. And then mm-hmm. people I didn't know was like, yeah, that's, like, you're pretty good. Then I, I, that's kind of how I got into it. Mm-hmm. I didn't really have any intent. I didn't think I'm going to be someone that they say is one of the hottest female rappers in, in Philly. And I didn't see it coming. When did it come? When when do you think that people started to really say one chain right. gang is, is that one? I remember clearly. Okay. I remember because it was um 
my free smoke freestyle. Free smoke. Okay. I that was my first freestyle on Instagram. Off the Drake beat. Yep. That's my shit. That's my shit. That was my first, and I wrote it at like three in the morning. I knew it was like the one. Like I don't know what I <laughs> thought was going to come about behind it. Yeah. But when I finished it, I was calling my sisters and them out. They sleep like, this is it. And I did it on Instagram, and that was my first video that went up to like thirty thousand views. And, and you I, didn't have a lot of followers then, right? No, I didn't have a lot of followers. I probably had less than mm -hmm. 10,000 followers for sure. And it went all the way up. And it was just going up and it kept. And then I was, at the time, it was just Instagram videos. It was just 60 second freestyles. So I would do it frequently. Yeah. And it turned into something serious when a friend of mine, um, my sister got me to rap for someone she knew mm -hmm. down Kensington. That's where they frequent me too. Okay, but that's like my second home too. Okay, um, like I lived down there for like over ten years. When, from when I was in high school, I was like going to school uptown, but living down there. So what school you went to in uptown? I went to King. All four of my years. Yo, King got so much history, yo. I know. I was like crying Eve, when I had to go to King. Eve. That's mm -hmm. crazy. We elite up there. That's what I be. But let me ask you a question because I remember growing up, and then this might be before your time, but they always not trying to throw no shade no, at No, I know. I know what's coming. <laughs> they used to always call it the A school. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. And when and when I had to go there, uh -huh. I was crying. Like, I don't want to go to an A school. Right. But I think it was like my attendance or something that I didn't go to like my selected high school. So I just went to my neighborhood high school. Okay. I was crying. They was like, everyone jumps girls in there. And my mom, and I was a little fighter. Yeah. So my mom like, yeah, you think you tough? Not up at King. They gonna be beating you up. They gonna be jumping you. I'm like, oh my God, mom. Why are you making me go here? They got AIDS. Right. I was like a mess, but it wasn't like that at all. Oh, so it was all, it was all fraud. It's all, it's not fake. Yeah, I yeah. think it was something, it was a story like that, but I think it was before my time. Like it was a time where right. people in the school did have like a high ratio of AIDS. Like yeah, that was a real thing, other, like, but that was like cool way before me. Like that okay. was way before me. Okay. But yeah, it was like a myth that just kept kept going, I guess. I think it was a class. Yeah, I think it might have been a class before I okay. was like I was in eighth grade and they were saying it. So yeah. like I was just coming in. But it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, King. I went there my whole four years. So so let's go to the up smoke. So once that freestyle dropped, okay. things started to bubble for you. Mm -hmm. And how did your DMs, what did your DMs turn to? Because that's when people start reaching out, I want to do a song, I want to feature. Like, tell me about how, how things started to bubble for you. Okay. Um, I was saying how I started, a friend of mine got in the studio. I'm, I'm going to tell you all that. I'm going to tell you all that later. I'm going to tell you about the bubble, okay? Okay. So, it wasn't really like, it was so much at the time. Yeah. Literally. I wasn't, I wasn't really a... I want to say moved by the traffic on my page. Like, I wasn't really into the Instagram stuff. Okay. I was more so like, am I going to be, like, famous? Like, am I going to be, like, world famous? Is that where this is, that where this is taking me? Right. Like, but I didn't pay the little Instagram, oh, you got 50. Like, I had so many DMs, so many comments. People, when it was the features or people uh, mm -hmm. wanting to pay me for shows, like, people started DMing me, how much do you want? And I'm like, What? <laughs> <laughs> how much do I want? Yeah, how much do yeah, I want? Yeah, so I'm like, okay. Yeah, I didn't that. have like a manager. Right. I had a friend of mine that was trying to get me like in the studio. Okay. But I didn't have someone on the business side really like. Right. I was just doing it on Instagram and mm -hmm. Cosmic had reached out. Really? Shout out to my bro, Cosmic. Shout Kev. out to my bro, Cav. Yeah, that's how I got started. Yeah. In this thing. Yeah, that, I would say the same. I would definitely give up. A lot of credit to Kev behind his come up show shit because he reached out and was just like, uh, I think he posted me on his page before I even did it. It was like I seen this girl mm. had to get like I didn't I don't even remember it. I just like I know he's not lying, of course. Yeah. But he was like, she's so decent. I'm like, what? I don't know where he saw me rapping, but he did. And he wrote me, he DM'd me and was like, uh, I'm gonna hit you when it's uh mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit you when I do the uh come up show. Right. Hey, your bar is ready and I see some cute shit like uh just let me know so I can get my makeup done. Like, these bars are here. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to rap. She came right in camp. Let me know so I can look pretty. Yo, that shit crazy. So then I was, like, super nervous because I okay. really don't freestyle. Right. And I don't feel a way about saying this because Nicki Minaj doesn't freestyle. So no, she don't. She, she, don't. she She's a great, great is an understatement. But, right. yeah, people think that it's, I think freestyle was more like the, 
category, the way of doing it. Yeah. Versus like really me. I admire people. I think people it's a new can. generation that don't freestyle. Right. Because back in the day, people right. really used to freestyle. Yeah, and I really envy but people now, that can do it. And right. I think I could probably put like, you know, four or six, eight bars together. But like literally, no. I'm right. not meek on the freestyle tip. <laughs> I'll write my song and get it at y'all later. But um, yeah, mm-hmm. he was like, be ready for that. And I was so scared because I'm like, I don't know how to freestyle. So I'm like, do right. I really have to freestyle? And he was like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, sort of, kind of, but I'll right. let you tell me what beats you want to do. Yeah. So you'll do this beat. You'll be comfortable. You can get ready. Boom. Right. I had like a week or so. Yeah. Went up there. I wanted to give them all the vibes. Like I wanted to show people like I can rap about this. I can rap about this. I can rap about that. So I gave them a vibe about um, a generalization, a loot chains, you know, little thing real quick. Then I gave them mm-hmm. love because... I'm a woman at the end of the day, and even though I'm still a gangster, I do have feelings. So I've had my heart broken and went through I shit that it. I know a lot of people could relate to. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually recorded the freestyle that I did on a couple show on Instagram previously. Mm. Like when I was just making freestyles and stuff, I just recorded it. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, all right, I'm doing this come up show. I want to get this out to the world. I want the world to hear, hear this. It. Yeah. So, um, and then I did my um. But you know the part that had me when you did it off the quiet storm like that. Yeah, last, my gangster part. That <laughs> last four. Oh my god, one yeah. chain. So yeah. all right, let me ask you this because mm-hmm. all right, before I ask you the Philly question, I want to ask you about just overall. Do you feel like female rappers are getting the love they deserve in hip hop now, or you feel like y'all still need room to grow because it's a male dominating culture? Um. I think it's like a saying, it could be a man's world as long as I could be a woman in it. Like, I don't really see sex. It's like rap is rap. Okay. I don't really see sex in the rap. Like, I, I, I do think it, it is a, a male, like, you know, dominated Dominate. type and, of thing. But yeah. um, I think that females have a different lane. So I think that mm-hmm. that's what makes it different. If you okay. want to listen to guys rap, you're going to listen to guys rap. If you want to hear some female rap, you're going to listen to some female rap. If you want to hear some Ashanti, right. if you want to hear the bunch of vibes, you're going to listen to Lou Chains because I'm going to give you the gangster stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think that women got their own lane. Even okay. me, even me rapping like, and people think I'm really not rapping like a girl. Mm. I still think. How you feel about that? When people put you in a box and say you sound like a dude. I don't dude. care. Okay. You gonna still do your thing regardless. Mm-hmm. I, I respect. That. I think that's what makes me me. I mm-hmm. think that's you know everyone's power. Yeah, it's it's me. It's mine. It's my thing. It's not. Right. I don't want to change it. That's why people like me now, right? That's Facts. why. That's how I got here. Facts. From being me, that's all I could do. Right. So. Do don't you hate when artists try to be people that they're not, and not stay true to their truest form? I don't hate it. Not hate it. Maybe that's the wrong word. But yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. as you being an artist and looking from an artist's perspective, you get a different insight because you're looking from an artist's perspective than right. and like, a casual you, fan or a fan or a DJ or a host like myself. But from an art, yeah, from an artist's perspective, I would say that nobody's really original. So okay. everyone's taken from Something. somewhere. Okay. You know, and I feel like everybody... Who inspire you? Who you feel like you take a little flow from a little bit? I feel like Lil Wayne, who's my favorite rapper in the world. Yes. I am very inspired. Lil Wayne's a legend. My favorite rapper in the world. Okay. I wish, um, I always say I wish I could make music like Drake. Like, I I wish I could be as versatile and as... Oh, why can't you? No, I could, but you it's know, that's, these are my people. Yeah, these are my like Lil Wayne. It's crazy because Lil Wayne, Drake, Nicki Minaj. I think that's like the whole. That's the that's the Trinity. That's the whole thing. Like Drake is Michael Jackson to me. Facts. So that's the that's type. of fact. But I listen to a lot of different music though. So I listen to Lana Del. Mm-hmm. I listen to Lana Del Rey. Okay. Lana Del Rey inspires me. Okay. Like I actually wrote a song that someone will have to sing because I can't. Right. My friends are like, do it. It's a great song. All right, so let's talk about your new single. Right. I okay. really like it. Thank you. So what is that about? Is that skirt? Like that is that like an uptown? It's skirt. Like is that an uptown thing? I think that's a new age thing. <laughs> okay. I think every song we sing is skirt. That's the whole I think girls like fast cars, guys like fast cars. It's turned up. It's like, yeah, we out. I okay. drive fast. Okay. I'll, I get speeding tickets so all the you, time. So you heavy footed when it comes yeah. to driving. Okay. Yeah, I could drive. Everyone says I could drive. I crash and that's what she's gonna say, but that was once. 
You crashed once? Yes. Yeah. But you came out all right, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was fine. No the insurance bad. didn't go up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> Look at her. No comment. Um, I think I got oh my, my sister's God. license suspended, but you know, really? no big deal. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I totally fixed it. <laughs> no, for real. You is wild. So y'all, y'all not sisters. Y'all just friends. Cause y'all look similar. I would not say that that's my friend. I would say that that's my sister, but technically no. She's okay. not. My, she's not. She's my friend. Okay. Yeah. That's now. My, I want to ask you the Philly question now. Yeah. So, so for me personally, listen, and I'm and I'm a good judge of hip hop. Like, a lot of people don't get this about me, and I, and this is the part, I, and this is what I, I gotta say this too. Like, a lot of these dudes with this top twenty list and top ten list <laughs> is yeah, fucking like... horrible. <laughs> like, I seen the top ten list for the podcast, and I'm like, y'all niggas. Don't know what the hell y'all talking, talking about. about. Like, right. how the fuck am I not on the list? That's right. number one. <laughs> number two, I got niggas on the list that started a podcast in September, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, how the fuck did you get on the list and you only work for four months? My shit is blood, sweat, and tears, bro. You're not on my level. Like, mm-hmm. let's keep it spade to speed. I've been in the rooms with Wendy Williams, Kobe Cole, Cosmic Kev. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all niggas not fuck with me. I'm going to just mm-hmm. keep it spade. The only podcast that I respect and I, and I can give it up and say they definitely fuck with me is Wallow and Gilly. Other than that, the rest of y'all niggas fall behind. I'm going to just keep it Speed, speed. Um, um, my friend Tom. I like my friend Tom. <laughs> For real, man. I hate that shit. Yeah. I know Tom. Yeah, Tom's my friend. I did um Tom's podcast. We yeah, I remember that. Play. And that's when I reached out to you. Because I'm like, oh, she's doing a podcast now? Oh, yeah. Let I me totally get that. wasn't. Let me that. But I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm like, I think people, not that I want to clarify some stuff, but I think people do want some insight to me sometimes. They do. I, b- I believe also because I don't clear things up. Like, you just leave it. When they start popping they shit, shit about me on the blogs, what about it? Right. Y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe anyway. Right. Y'all gonna say what y'all wanna say anyway. That's why I wore my dick vans in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so but that brings me to my questions about Philly. So mm-hmm. when I, I seen all the freestyles female and I felt like yours was the best one to come. That's just my personal wanna opinion. Come out, right? Yeah, I, that, yours was the best out I of actually, all the females I on Philly. I agree. I had, Seriously, like, I'm not shading none of y'all. Like, yeah, shout out to everybody that's doing anything, but I'm sorry. Your flow was just on another level. Like, I'm trying to tell I you, I, I know what flow is. Yeah. Like, I come from the real school of hip-hop. Like, I come up Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, Big right. L, like, before Drake, before Weezy. So when I talk about somebody that can flow, yeah. it's really mean and they can I, really and flow. And I appreciate it coming from someone like you, someone that's seasoned and knows what they're talking about because I believe in the new age, in this rap, in this rap, sh- like... I don't want to say shit, but yeah. yeah and this rap this new shit generation. right now, yeah. it's a certain way of rapping. Like, I also think that I don't really got the same new age type of flow. I think my stuff is kind of like throwback. I think that's why I go to the throwback beats. They kind of bring out my best, like... Yeah, so and when you sent me that beat, I'm like, what she know about this beat? Oh, my God. Wait till I... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, she sent me that. Watch okay. what I do to this beat. Okay. But before we do to the beat, I do got to ask you. Yeah. I want to know, how did you and Rocky, like, how did that beef come? Me and who? Rocky. How did that beef? Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, you wild. That, you is wild. Yo. I will say that. Listen, well, this, all right, f- this put it in perspective. Okay. You, ain't, you can give me your side, because all I seen was. I don't was, have a side. I'll say that this is just, um. Instagram, I would say that it's politics, I guess. I would say it's rap politics, I guess. Okay. I would say, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. really it. <laughs> I would say it's rap politics. It's not, right. like, the way I looked at it was um, previously to us getting into a physical altercation. Oh, see, I missed that. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't do the internet thing. Right, yeah. I just don't, you know. Right. But previous to that, I felt like it was politics, you know. It was just like a bunch of everybody on Instagram saying one thing and spicing shit up. And I'm the new kid on the block. And Right. But, I mean, I never throw shade. She did a challenge before I had a bunch of followers. I did the challenge. I was, yeah, you know, I listen to your shit. I fuck with you. Yeah. I don't know where it went left. Right. Don't really matter. Right. Not my problem. Right. I respect that. Next question. <laughs> yo, you is deep, yo. Thank you. Now, what I want to know is, because I seen you take a picture with Ryder and Garcia, so mm-hmm. are you a Garcia. part... Garcia. 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 That's what I meant to say. Are you a part of that team now? Are you signed? Like, how, Legally, what's that, no. 
Okay. But you those are my friends. Okay. So we've done some things together. Me and Rod have some unfinished music together. Okay. Um legally I fuck with them. I f- I'm not the mean to say, like, you know, not formally, them. not formally. But, no paperwork. Right, no paperwork. But these is my folks. Um, okay. A friend of mine, he's actually my manager. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm affiliated. Okay. But I you're not signed? No. Okay. Mm-mm. I'm, so do I'm just wa- doing me. It's just loot. It's just me. It's just one chain game. So you want to be independent? You don't want to be signed? I would love to be. You Honestly. don't want to be signed? No. It depends, but... On what? Because um, I want to ask you a question before... I'm going to let you answer that, and then I'm going to ask you Okay, a I but. feel like you can be a successful artist being independent. That's just it. Like, simply put, I feel like you don't need a deal unless it'd be a crazy beneficial deal, but I mm-hmm. feel like, you know, contracts and shit like that. I feel like you can still be a successful artist with right. being independent. Like, I know a bunch of independent... Well, I can name, you know, in the industry. I don't know them personally, but... People okay. do it. Adele. I love Adele. Yeah. And she's great. Like, she's really, really different for me to say, oh, Adele. Like, I'm comparing myself to her. Okay. But she's independent. Right. And I could totally do that. So, I, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not open to a deal. I'm not saying that someone's like, hey, I got a million dollars for you. I'm like, I don't need your money. I'm not saying that. But, you know. I feel like you can create enough of traffic and a fan base if you can do it, you know, mm-hmm. alone. Mm-hmm. But it's beneficial to artists like me that's coming up and trying to do it alone. Like, nobody is backing me. Nobody is. You backing yourself? Yeah. Okay. That's I anybody that. I deal with is, like, Rod and Garcia are my friends. You know, I will say that as far as music go, they've definitely assisted me. They've definitely um, reached out and helped me. Um, but other than that, yeah. Like it's like a from the muscle thing, like me and my game thing, like only the family type of thing. Okay. So, blood, you know, your blood family, like your sisters and your my mud family, your mud, family. my my block, your block family. Yeah. Okay. That's I can how respect I feel. That. My my sisters too. Yeah, my blood sisters. My mom, they support me okay. a bunch, but um, yeah. So if me offers you twenty thousand, would you have took it? No. Why? Twenty thousand to do what? The sign with him, like the situation that happened with him and Pam side, like what's what? What do you think? I of that? feel like twenty thousand dollars as an upcoming artist isn't much. We talking about visuals. I could spend twenty thousand dollars right now mm-hmm. in my head as an artist. Like, okay, this is going to cost this. This is going to twenty thousand. What is that going to do? Now I'm not saying but that. But me going to get you that look though. That to see is it? I feel like to I a feel certain like, extent. I feel like this stuff is an illusion too because people. It's like. People want to see you look like a famous rich rapper before you're even a famous rich rapper. Mm. People have that expectation already. I don't know if that's like a Philly thing or if it's like a rap culture thing. Okay. Like if you ain't, if you're a rapper that don't got diamond chains, you ain't got no money. Right. Like that's the that's the thing. But they want you to look like that to even get on. Right. So with stuff like that, with Meek is oh I'm gonna give you 20, 20 grand to what run around with me and look decent. I'll put the blood in, right. the sweat in, mm. the work in, right. and see what it do. I can respect that. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So let's talk about this mistress situation before we get to the freestyle. Let's get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, she is so funny. <laughs> when So mistress, so we all know what that is, but mm-hmm. from your perspective. The mistress is me. I feel like um, mm-hmm. people got this thing in me with the way I read. <laughs> Um, right. It's kind of true. I'm kind of a boyfriend snatcher. Really? Yeah. Just not, keep... not even on purpose. It just be happening. Literally. It's they be DMing ha- It's happening like or DM. They is coming to get me, honey. DM. Like they pulling up where I'm at. <laughs> but but the mistress is <laughs> the mistress is this upcoming EP that I got. That's what it's giving. Uh, this EP is going to be named The Mistress. Oh, man. oh, your new project is The Mistress? It's going to be called The Mistress. It's going to be given Marilyn Monroe uh-huh. and Nicole Smith. A mm-hmm. little bit of Lil' Kim. Okay. If they all had a baby. Really? They need me. Yep. Wow, that's a good concept. You came that off the top of your head? No. Your brain working. No, no, no. Not, not it off took the time. T- 
to come up with that because that's an interesting concept. Seriously, it just felt like me. Mm. It felt like me. Some Megan Thee Stallion named her new album what I was going to name my EP, Girls in the Hood. Damn, it was so crazy. My friends were like, so "Oh weird. my god." She literally beat you to it. I never even told anybody except my friends. Like, this is it. Right. And I'm like, oh, my. Meg, it was a great idea. Girls in the hood. But I felt like that was a good aesthetic for yeah. me. I'm a girl in the hood. Right. Still a girl. Right. But but believe me, I'm in the hood. Like, okay. a lot more than a female probably should be. Mm-hmm. You know? But right. I'm a product of my environment. So. So you take your experiences with men. That have women mm-hmm. and flip it into your, to your music. Absolutely. I take my experiences that I have with everything. If you know me mm-hmm. and you listen to my music, you'll be getting the chills like all of this is true. Maybe some things, you know, it's music. Right. But like 95% of literally everything I'm saying is like from a actual situation. If not me, my friends. Right. You've seen it. You I've, was around it. Yeah. Seen it, done it, heard it. Right. Yep. Was there something of the sort. So it's not going to just be boyfriend snatcher music, but it's kind of like who brand, rebranded myself as an artist. Mm-hmm. Now, was separating me from other artists or was, you know, making me distinct because, like I say, that's that's everyone's power is that you're you. Mm-hmm. So I just had to figure out what was going to be my, how I was going to, you know, um, Rebrand myself to the world. Like, yeah. who are you? Right. And I was like, okay, well, this is what they say about me. Right. And I don't really like clear care to judge it up, so I'll yeah. embrace it. And I right. do that a lot. I do that with a lot of things. Like a lot of stuff people say, I might exaggerate. I might be in my right saying, oh yeah, I'm a hoe. Mm-hmm. I don't really think I'm a hoe, but right. if that's what y'all want me to say, then I'll beat you to it. I'm on some Eminem eight mile shit. Like, what are you going to say? Right about me. Next, all right. right. Yeah. Yeah, and I still can rap. Right. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a pretty cool person. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the mistress isn't a bad person. She's just, you know. That's so the have vibe you had given. encounters where it got too crazy, where the girlfriend wanted to get at you, or how? How did? How, <laughs> Absolutely. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. But I handle drama accordingly. I don't get me started. Oh man, you was said <laughs> Yo, handle drama accordingly. They Yo. don't really be. I don't know. They just be mad. I guess I get it. Like we all. I. It's not like I've never been cheated on. Never had a boyfriend. Or you know, yeah. like it's life though. I feel like right. it's life. I've been a girlfriend. I've been a side chick. Right. So. I understand it from all angles. I respect that. So through your life, when you look at it as a rapper, as a mistress, as a mom, like what's been hard for you to juggle now getting that shine and still being a mom um, and just, you know, like going through relationships, what's been your, your lowest point? Like what, what's been your lowest point? How did um, you overcome it? Okay. I think what I went through young with my son, with my son's dad, <clears throat> it kind of, um, Mm-hmm. Everything I went through, like anything you could think of. So we talking about abuse. We talking about this is the whole how I even am exposed to half of the things I've seen and done. Okay. So it was kind of like, all right, now I'm leaving you because not that I don't love you, but I have a baby and I love my baby more. Okay. If we didn't have a baby, mm-hmm. we'd probably still be together. Mm-hmm. But I love my baby more. Right. So it was like, uh. Yeah, we used to fight, but I can't fight you in front of my baby. Right. I can't set that example for him. Yeah. So in the midst of me trying to leave mm-hmm. my son's dad alone, I was also still going through a depression. So um, I was on Zannies. Mm. I stopped taking Zannies to take Percocets. Mm. My brother died. Your brother died? My brother died the first time I ever tried to make a song and record it in the studio. Really? And How my he died? He got killed. BV, I rap about him all the time. And oh, yo, I was, to hear that. yeah, crazy. I appreciate that. But he, um, this was 2017. So I'm making my first song. He, yeah. he know the songs. I'm rapping on the block around everybody. I didn't really start to record. This was the first night I recorded. Yeah. And my baby dad, my son's dad called me and said, yeah, they, you know, he was crying. And I'm like, oh my God. Right. I'm thinking it was something wrong with his mom, how hysterical he was. Like, it gotta be bad. And he was like, no, it's Brandon. 
So it was almost like, yeah, I'm devastated, but this has to be a sign. Like, it has to be maybe meant for me to be a rapper. Like, to get me and my family, who are my friends, and, Mm -hmm. you know, my close immediate family, of course, but me and my, this is my gang, Mm -hmm. you know? We locked in. Yeah. I could change all of our lives. Right. You know, potentially. Right. And I felt like if it wasn't supposed to be, like, such a, like, a greater sign, like, I felt like this had to be, you know, I must be meant to do it. Yeah. God must be pushing me in this direction. I agree. So um, with that, I was in school at the time. Like, I wasn't, I was just trying to be a rapper. So that wasn't where I was at with it. I was being a mom, going to work, going to school. If you listen to my G Herbo, I'm still, I'm rapping about going to work in school. I wasn't there yet. My brother died. I couldn't concentrate at all. I I felt like I was going to lose. So you dropped out. I withdrew from my classes. Like, all right, maybe I'll go back. When I feel better. Yeah. But that just pushed me into the streets kind of more. Like around my friends. Because we all were suffering. Yeah. We all were suffering. And we all were going through, you know. Right. Like, so it was like I was always around them. And yeah. it kind of put us together. But that also made me rap. Mm-hmm. And then if y'all look on the come up show. Right. I'm with girls on the come up show that I'm not, we're not friends no more. Really, Karima? Karima, me and Karima aren't friends anymore. What happened? Cause I y'all look so like like united and just you even said something to rap about her. All like the time. What happened when she got booked? Her son, you took care of her son. All that. I remember the rap. All the time. But, but what happened? I don't get it. Like I just don't be. That's how it. I be. That's how I feel. Like I don't get it. But Is also, she je- was she jealous of you? I would say so. And I would say that I would say jealous because jealousy is love and hate at the same time. So I don't feel like you just don't like me. I do feel like you love me, but it's certain things about me not just applying it to her in general that people right. can't stand for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because I know who I am, yeah. you know, and, right. me, and other people don't. It even go back to you saying artists not really, Some most people really don't know who they are. They They're don't. trying to figure out who they should be so other people like them. Mm-hmm. That's not where I'm That's at. That's not where you're at because mm-hmm. you know who you are. Yep. Yeah. And Karima, I I felt like we went. I, that was a heartbreak. Like I went through a heartbreak, like not being friends with her. Yeah, because but, you really loved her. But it's like it has to be done because if you would do, you know, unloyal things to me now at this point in my what life, what would you do when I become successful? I can't afford it. Thanks. And like I know I did right and not wrong. I know you can't say nothing about me, mm-hmm. so I definitely could walk away and just be, you know, whatever, because I didn't do anything to you. All right, I got one last question because I do feel like a lot of rappers from Philly become successful, Mm -hmm. but they stay in Philly. I'm leaving. I don't live in Philly now. Good. I didn't move far, but I'm not. I'm not sleeping where I uh, eating where I shit no more. Yeah, I could go an hour away. Okay. Yeah. Great. But definitely, I mean, it's it was scary for me. When I did first start rapping, everybody was like, you should go to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And Philly is such a, um, you know, like they hate Cranberry Montana, yeah. You know, I really didn't see a lot of these things until like like now. Like 2020, turning 25, the pandemic. I like went through so much, realized so much, grew so much. So, um, yeah, I'm not staying here. I love Philly. But But the way it is now, it's like... mm -mm. No, it's really too bad. It you know, is. And I got, you look like, at Nipsey. He he did all yeah. that for his community, and he still got killed. I got girlfriends that was in my gummo video. I have a girlfriend that was in my gummo video that was murdered. She didn't pass. She didn't die. Someone killed her. Like, this is my life. These are my friends. This is the shit I be going through. Right. You know, it's yeah. crazy almost. Right. No, it's crazy all the way. But yeah, it's crazy all the way. Yeah. Well, One Chain Gang, I really appreciate you coming through. I appreciate you for having One me. One Chain Gang, this was a dope ass interview. <laughs> I can't wait for everybody to see this. But I can't we, wait. before we go, you already know what time it is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let you do your ones and twos. Don't be trying. Keep going, keep going. Because you know, I told you I can't freestyle like that. I'm going to just give y'all a little, little something. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little something. All right, you already know what it is. This your boy DJ Bugsy, One Chain Gang. Let's get it. Let's go. Back up a little bit. Uh. Uh. What I tell him, look. 
The baddest and the hottest, I got it. What do you mean? The realest in the game since I got in at 17. Phone jumping. If it ain't about nothing, I let it ring. Cut him if he ain't on nothing. It's better things. I don't love him. It's just that when I fuck him, I tell him things. Street, but baby, I'm hustling. I'm selling dreams. Pull up, pop out like a taxi in that black and yellow thing. Strap nasty. I got that black and metal thing. Is she nasty? You know I keep me a mellow thing. Rockstar lifestyle. Do my heavy metal thing. Just his favorite bitch. Don't really do the wetting thing. Guys me out. Buy me everything. But the wedding ring, uh. Rich hoes. My bitches don't do no settling. We on the big boats. We don't do no pedaling. Big homes. He like, call me when you settled in. Big dope. Tell my crypt to curl it by It's one chain. I don't know what rap is better than. Pussy wetter than if I quit rapping. Who's stepping in? Thinking a bitch hotter than me. Tell him better than. Left her cause she boring me and him do S and M, uh. You hoes goofy. Disney. Pixar. Ugly bad bill. Can't even get a nigga dick hard. Never hate on other hoes. I meet him at the tip bar. Go to work on it. He leaves something in the tip jar. Big daddy told him pull up on me in his big car. With law here, you something by the nigga in the is all. I can't wait to say never thought rap and get me this far or this car. But you don't know a rap bitch. This hard. One CG. The mistress. You mad about her. Pretty bitch Elizabeth. Short like the Black Dahlia. Hood bitch dressed like she at the Met Gala. Trap niggas only please dope crack powder. Young wild bitch. You don't want no trouble. If you thought you wanted some trouble, you don't want no trouble. I just really want the money. I don't want no trouble. So don't start no trouble. Won't be no trouble. Pussy, you on puddle. Let me more puddle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, y'all lost me. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, chain gang. What up, though? I'm like shaking. Uptown, uptown. You shaking? Girl. I always get nervous. I'm not nervous to rap. I love to rap. <laughs> Okay. But you know. One chain. Yeah. yeah. Yo. At the end of the day, it's your boy DJ Bugsy, Do It For Hip Hop Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on Google Play, iTunes, DJ Bugsy 215 on SoundCloud. Keep it hip hop. Peace.